Well, what is going on, everyone? Welcome back to Kitchen Table TCG. My name is Louie, and I hope you're having yourself a fantastic day. Welcome to Game Grove. We're going to do a little bit of a different video today. We're going to talk about the Commander Master singles. Um, you know, we do have Commander Masters available on the website at GameGrove.gg, but you don't care about that. Nobody cares about sealed product. What people care about in this set by far is the singles. It has been absolutely insane to uh, open up boxes. And we opened up that many boxes. The boxes are so expensive that frankly, the budget that I kind of set didn't get us that many boxes, even at upwards of a expensive car worth of Commander Masters product. But uh, this is kind of what we got going on, a little bit behind the scenes, tons of orders uh, ready to go out today working on a, a bunch of other, this is just the plain white envelope ones, uh, packing them up. I mean, we have like yesterday, I think we had 500 orders to fulfill. Today, I think we already have another like 150. I'm sure by the end of the day, it'll be another 300 orders. Um, nothing super fancy about our setup. We alphabeticalize all the cards. Uh, we pull the orders, we pack them, we ship them. Uh, I'm sure there's better ways to do it. But one of the things I think people are sleeping on in this set is the four to ten dollar range cards have been absolutely flying yeah you've got your cyclonic rifts uh that have gone from forty dollars down to like 18 uh yeah you've got all these other cards that uh the the wizards is reprinting too much and the market just can't handle um but those four to ten dollar cards are making up a the vast majority in my opinion of the the profit margin and then uh things like oh where is it the borderless like common like elvish mystic in borderless people are buying that a ton all that glitters cards like this are are killing for the ed in a good way they are they're super super healthy for the ed so i think a lot of people are losing sight of that um and so if you are somebody who's going to a store this weekend and picking up product Collector boxes are great, and I think a lot of people are automatically going to buy collector boxes because they're cheaper, right? I think we have in store collector boxes at like 200, 220, something like that. Uh, online, they're going for like 200, 195 to 200. Uh, set boxes uh, are going for way more. They're like 340, and that's like almost at our cost. That's almost distribution cost on TCG Player, 340. Um, set boxes, though, the polls have been so much more consistent and you get way more of the demonic tutors you get way more of the mythics right your demonic tutors what else you, uh the great henges your um i know it's getting reprinted doubling season i know it's getting reprinted the demand for doubling season is still insane either people don't know that it's being reprinted or it just doesn't matter and the doubling season is just such a good card that like everybody still wants it uh, but your mythics in your set boxes are way, way more efficient, I think, per per price. I know um, I kind of, in my box opening, kind of felt like it was the opposite. But doing, you know, I think we did, I, I think we only did like 30 boxes, set boxes. But uh, even at a, a scale like that, it's not huge. But uh, 30 set boxes, <laughs> like that's like 10 grand worth of product. Anyway, uh, at that scale, we are seeing mythics pop up much more often and then you're you know the the free commander cost cycle also you just get so much of that stuff which makes it so worth it in terms of opening set boxes over collector boxes uh textured foils are selling pretty good like we pulled this this mikeus the unhollowed textured foil uh you can you can hardly sell the textured foils uh they look pretty sweet um in terms of like jeweled lotuses I think it's short printed, not going to lie. Uh, I think we only pulled in 30 boxes, like six, seven, eight jeweled lotuses. Definitely not more than that. Uh, and so this goes back to this set being just an absolute focus on singles. Um, but that can only last so long, right? Like if a set, if, if, if everyone is only buying singles and nobody is buying the set boxes at $340 on TCG player, then like the singles market is going to go up in a way that causes it to be worth opening boxes. This is this, this arbitrage that just naturally exists in TCGs. And I don't know that I know the negativity is there. I'm not sure you can get away from the arbitrage. It just happens. It just is the way that it is. And so at some point, um, Wizards just understands 
that no matter what they do, if they put reprints in, and this set has a ton of really good reprints, um, it's gonna work out, at least in the short term. Now, I think if you are holding sealed boxes of Commander Masters, I think that's a little silly. Like, I think stores, like, from my perspective, you know, we're keeping a decent chunk of the collector boxes, because I think those will sell really well in store. The set boxes, we, we really opened almost all, like, 75% of our set boxes we open. I would not hold on to sealed product, but in the short term, right now, there's money to be made because of that arbitrage. And, uh, and I think that that is just something that as negative as I want to be about the price point of this product from wizards to wizards perspective, uh, the arbitrage is still there. Trust me. It's still there. we opened up a lot of product. We've sold a ton of singles. Um, and we'll see what the market holds up. Like doubling season will be a really good, interesting point. We already had doubling season sell from $45 all the way down to $30 all the way. Now it's back up to $45. You can see in our sales, like things are just kind of back and forth and back and forth. Um, and so we'll see where the arbitrage hangs up and when it stops, but for right now it, it is still there. Uh, anyway, wanted to give you a little bit of a behind the scenes of, um, opening up all that product. I know this wasn't the most, uh, polished video and, and that kind of stuff. Look at this. We're, we're going to do a saviors of Kamigawa draft here soon. I picked up this box. It's got a little slit in it. Uh, we're going to do a savers draft soon. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, Commander Masters. Let me know what you're thinking on release week and what you're doing uh, from a consumer's perspective. I've heard a lot of people canceling pre-orders. Um, the commander decks are another thing that have just been flying like uh, on the website and in store. Everybody is stoked for the commander decks. Uh, so those have been flying. If you want to pick those up, go to gamegrove.gg. Um, pick those up. We'll ship them out to you. Uh, man, the commander decks are the, the format within the commander decks itself. Uh, is a little bit rough. Like, we played the two games on stream. There's so many uh, board wipes in the non-Eldrazi, non-Sliver deck. So in the Enchantment deck and in the um, Planeswalker deck, particularly the Planeswalker deck, has so many board wipes that it was hard for the Sliver deck and the Eldrazi deck to keep up. Uh, and But the, the format is interesting. I honestly don't like the format, like the all-four deck format. We only played two games, though. Uh, but I think the decks are actually going to be stronger individually in pods that aren't full of, uh, you know, the decks that are kind of anti-slivers, anti, you know, anti-Eldrazi. That The way that they built the format with the four decks, it seems like they were trying to decrease the power level of the slivers and the Eldrazis by putting a lot of board wipes and stuff in the other two decks. And so I think that's kind of one of the issues we had in our stream. But it'll be interesting to see how those hold up because they're expensive the power level, it doesn't feel that much higher or really higher than Lord of the Rings. It's going to be really interesting to watch those. Uh, that's like, for me, the thing that I am uh, most, we we ended up not cracking open uh, collector boxes for singles because we did the set boxes. And uh, that's because Lord of the Rings, we did a ton of collector boxes. We cracked them all open. And with Lord of the Rings, Afterwards, I had so many sales of the, of the, for sets of the Lord of the Rings boxes that I said for Commander Masters, it's far more efficient for me to just sell the, the Commander decks as everybody kind of picks them up afterwards. Um, so we'll see if that pans out. I have heard from some other people who are cracking them that the, um, the packs inside the Commander decks are averaging like 10 to $15 per pack right now in value. Uh, on stream, you saw us, we pulled like a Fierce Guardianship extended foil. I don't think that there's any exclusive cards that I've seen yet in those, but I could be very wrong about that. Uh, so yeah, it's it's crazy. It's going to be an interesting thing. We'll keep talking about it. Uh, podcasts tomorrow, we talk about it a little bit. The podcast is a little bit weird this week. Um, but yeah, anyway, let me know what you're thinking about Commander Masters. Hopefully you enjoy pre-release, I guess release day on Friday. Uh, if you're here in Hurricane, uh, West Virginia, 7 p.m. on Friday, drafting in pods of four and then playing your commander game in a pod of four it's gonna be a blast can't wait hope to see you here the rest of you have yourselves a great day be kind to the people around you and we'll see you again next video